I don't know how we, we got to be here today, but I can just say thank you from the bottom of my heart. It has uh, personally contributed to saving my life. And I know that everybody here, um, all the victims, um, we're tired of sharing our heartbreaking stories so people can have their, their heart strings tugged at. Athletes who testified earlier today and who... I just would like to let you know that if the FBI had done anything that was even within their own policies and procedures or followed any of the laws that are already in place to protect children from sexual abuse, some of these people would not even be here as victims, let alone talk about a recovery. But there are 120 people who would not have been victims had one FBI agent made a proper report or phone call. Impactful and impressive in the testimony that the every one of these women, whether they knew personally victims who became survivors during that nearly 18 month period, July 2015 to the end of 2016, there were 120 young women who lay before Larry Nasser on his examining table, and he did with them whatever he wanted because the FBI did nothing. Let's be very clear. The FBI's inaction led to victimization of the most horrific and hideous kind. Well, I definitely want to hear more from the Department of Justice. I want to hear something from the Department of Justice. Today we heard nothing from the Department of Justice after a letter that I wrote along with Senator Feinstein specifically urging the top leadership of the Department of Justice to come before us, and I want cooperation. I'd like to hear their testimony. Not sure. showing up. I, I also just the message that by them not showing up to me sends that child abuse doesn't matter, and I, I think that's something that people in positions of power in these powerful organizations need to think about: is that the message that they are sending that abuse doesn't matter. And uh, maybe we'll be back in this room. Thank you all. My name is Kaylee Lorenz, and my last appointment with Larry Nassar was February 2nd of 2016, and that appointment never should have happened. I am here speaking on behalf of the 120 victims who saw Larry after the FBI knew of his abuse in 2015 and failed to investigate, failed to take action, and failed to protect. Let me be clear, I should not be here. I was abused from 2011 to 2016, and my life has been forever changed. When I think of the FBI, I think of truth, integrity, and honor, and yet the reality of their actions was the exact opposite. One of so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I would just emphasize that